everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today we're going to take a look at some new resin terrain scenic pieces from GameMat.eu. This is a set of industrial terrain. Um, it is going to go with all of their death worlds. They have a Marge uh, Forge Marge, Mars Forge World, Forges of Mars, something like that, and then Death World's Forge, um, sort of mats that they produce. The idea here is that their tech mats um, will look great with this stuff, and um, you can sort of like paint it to your uh, liking, or it comes pre-painted as well, I believe. So I've got some unpainted stuff to show you, just can get an idea of what comes in the set and the designs themselves, um, and you can look forward to seeing it painted in a future on the paint table because I do like to show stuff off in its natural form. So anyway, let's take a look right now at the industrial terrain set from GameMat.eu. All right, and here is the industrial terrain set. Now, I've included for scale purposes some easily recognized miniatures. I've got a space marine over here for my Alpha Leech army. And a rhino, because you guys will know how big those things are. And that kind of gives you a sense of scale as to how huge and chunky this scenery is. Um, I'd seen pictures of it online, but I really didn't appreciate how big it was until I held it in my hands, especially these containers. Most shipping containers that you see, like miniature-wise, are probably about the size of this rhino. These guys look like the Rhino could drive out of it, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, and they're also fully 3D detailed, so you roll them over, they're detailed on all sides, um, which is really nice. They've been uh, sculpted by hand, um, and then each of these is cast individually in resin. Uh, it's a hard resin, um, and it looks pretty much ready to pry. I'm still going to wash it, just to make sure there's no mold release on it, so you're not going to see me painting these for a little bit, because there's going to be some steps I'm going to go through. Uh, washing just to make sure all the talc is off it and then I gotta wait for a dry day because right now Niagara it is rainy like crazy <laughs> um, to get it all rattle canned and just undercoated so I can start airbrushing it and getting some details on it. Um, there's uh, basically I guess one, two, three, four, five different types of items in the train set. Uh, this is the same company that made the Ruins train set that you saw me do uh, which is Wonders on um, and then uh, repaint as well. Uh, and this is equally impressive amount of terrain. So this is a six foot, this is my six foot table it's on. And if you spread this stuff out, you would have a pretty decent amount of terrain to play a game on. Uh, you get 12 of these shipping containers and these are like, no joke, like giant, huge shipping containers that you would ship like aircraft parts or something into. <laughs> you get four of these big generators, um, which are, I mean, they're generators, machine plant, like whatever you want them to be. I, they look like generators to me, so I'm gonna call them generators. You get this one big hab, and it does have a door on either end, um, so it looks like a big like habitation unit basically with like cooling stuff or heating stuff and ducting all over it. And then you get two piles of pipes. So what I might do, the only thing I might do with these, um, just because I'm crazy, is put some ties around them. <laughs> like I might actually either sculpt or make um, with something, some ties that go around just to hold these together. Because when you ship either, if I decide to paint these as huge metal, um, uh, like tubes or, or piping, I'll probably rust them up a whole bunch, uh, and I might not do the, because they'd be heavy enough then. I might not actually do any ties, but if they're concrete, I'd probably put some ties on them. It depends on how I decide to paint them. Yeah, because I'm crazy. But that's just me. <laughs> and then um, you get four of these huge shipping canisters, uh, and they could also, of course, be halves. They have like their big runner doors along the front of them, um, and they are, as I showed you, if you roll them over, they are 360. You could put them on either end, hold them up in the air, however you want to do it. Um, and there's no like flat sort of side that isn't um, detailed. Uh, these guys do have a flat side, so there's a downside basically on them. Uh, these are, you can rotate them inside. These guys actually have feet on them, which is kind of nice too, some no slip feet from on your mat. Um, and it means you don't have to paint the bottoms, and I believe this guy does too. Yep, some no slip feet, which is nice, it means your trainers get bumped around. Um, I think these are cast in multiple pieces because they feel hollow. These are definitely hollow. These are definitely solid piece because they weigh a ton. <laughs> like this, this is all solid. This is hollow, this is hollow. Um, so just from a shipping point of view, I think that's probably just to make sure that these are not quite as heavy as they could be when they go into shipping because it'll save some money for you guys when you order that. Um, and that's it. So there's the trains that you get. Uh, you'll see it again when it's painted, and that'll be um, on a future on the paint table. Um, you can see some pictures of it uh, with the stock paint scene that it comes with on the uh, gamemat.eu website, which will be linked in the video description below. But there you have it, a really nice selection of sort of like generic sci-fi industrial terrain. And this is going to look great in Necromunda, it's going to look great in Horus Heresy, 40k. Um, I actually would even almost play this in War Machine. like. If I just kind of like steampunked it a little bit, you could definitely use this for War Machine as well. Although I know War Machine players don't like using this much train or these big pieces of train, but like, 
I think it'd be okay. Um, Dark Age is definitely gonna be something that I'll be using this for. I think it looks perfect for like that quasi-industrial Dark Age thing. And even Infinity, um, it's slick enough too that it could be Infinity. There's no skulls or wings or anything on it too. Um, so yeah, a great set of just like fill your table all in one shot terrain from GameMat.eu. So you have another great product from a small company. We've got the industrial terrain set from GameMat.eu. Now, if you know of a great product uh, you think isn't getting enough attention, you can have them email me at girlmitchgames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets and I will do my best to put it in front of people. Um, it's a really brave thing to make something, stick it out there and hope you'll buy it. I think it deserves all the attention it can get. So we'll see you next time for another one of these. Till then, Ash. Happy